This video is about the new 3D page turning feature in Zoom Notes. Um, you can set up any document to uh, have this feature and it's just a couple of easy steps really. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to uh, page settings and um, there's a new section called page turn and you can choose between these three options side, centre or none. Um, any existing documents will be none so you're going to want to choose either side or centre. I think centre is going to be the most popular, so we'll try that first. Centre, and then when you change page, it's going to do that animation effect. If I change back, it's not going to do it because it's per page. But as I've set it on this page, I can use the copy properties to pages, 3D page turning, copy. So that's done the whole document now the same way as you can see. So if we just look at um, quickly at side um, done, then it's going to turn about the left hand axis. Um, so I've got my percenter. Um, the next thing you're going to probably want to think about is um, cutting out areas of um, pages to in effect get a Dutch door effect. Um, so this you do by creating a shape over the bit of the page you want to cut away. So I could start just by making a simple shape here which will be a window or a hole through to the next page. So that's a shape. Um, link, first choose the page you want it to go to. Um, so I'll choose the next one, doesn't have to be the next one, could be anywhere. Um, and then you can choose as window and that will create the window through to the next page. Um, so we'll look at, see what that's done, turn the page. Yes, you can see a hole, but it's not on the other side. Now you don't have to have it on the other side, but typically it's kind of more intuitive if, if there is a hole on the other side. So Shape tool still, select the same shape, look at its properties again, link. Now there's a make reverse link, that just makes it be a bit easier. You could uh, copy and paste this shape onto the other page and, and use the transform tools to get it in the right place, but that just does it all in one go. So now when we go to the next page, we've got a hole right the way through. Um, so the other thing about these uh, cutaways or windows, whatever you want to call them, is that um, you can write through them. So I'm going to write here. And then turn the page. Oh, too many pages. And it's gone to the um, the page you can see through the um, Dutch door, so I can do the same here. Um, I'll just draw shapes, turn the page, and it's gone through. Now, for some people, um, that might not be exactly what they want to happen. Certainly, it didn't used to do that in Zoom Notes. So, what you can do is um, go to the pen settings, and you can turn off right through links here. Um, and the effect of that is, if I write here, then it's going to be on this page and not on the other page. Um, so whether or not you want that is up to you. Turn it off and on here. I think most people probably want write through links because it's more intuitive. Um, and the final point is, if for whatever reason you just want to turn off the whole 3D uh, page turning for a while. Um, you can do it, um, uh, not there, here I think. Animated 3D page turning. Turn that off and then it's not going to do it anymore. Um, if you set up links in your document then and they're between pages then um, 
they're going to um, obey those um, 3D page turning uh, animations. So that's turned to March, July, and they're off link. So um, I think that just about covers it. Um, I'll do another one on on a bit more on Dutch doors, I think. Um, but uh, in effect, um, that shows the principles that you need to to follow to get it to work. <laughs>